you guys have asked for it. I've been putting this video off for like two weeks. So let me just get into how I'm trying to become a micro influencer and what might work for you too. So you need to have an end goal. Is it to be a full-time content creator? Is it to have a podcast, start a business? What's your end goal with creating your content? And what is your why? Is it to help people learn how to cook? Is it to help people learn how to garden, how to parent, how to clean? What's your end goal with your content in relation to your followers? And then that would lead into your niche. So it can be pretty broad. I'll use me as an example. My niche is mom life. Um, and then I have a few content pillars under that. So dinner ideas, um, books that I'm really loving, and just like overall mom advice, which I need to work more on, but that's for another day. When you're working on your niche, you want to pick something that you can grow and expand on and into, something that you can post content on for a long time and still think that you'll enjoy even as you change it. And then, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be super slow, but growing your followers slowly, I think, helps give you a better idea of what your followers want, what they're looking for, and how you can make that happen while still posting things that you love and enjoy. So speaking of things that you love and enjoy, start sharing products that you really like. So even if it's not going to lead anywhere, if you're not part of the Amazon Influencer Program yet, if you're not part of TikTok Shop yet, that doesn't matter. Just keep sharing things that you like and where people can go to find them. And then as you get more into that, you can start getting into the influencer apps. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. You guys can look up different videos on that. I have not found any that I have really been loving. I need to do some more work into that. Um, but yeah, and then once you get TikTok shop, you're going to get a lot of samples through TikTok shop. Sellers will reach out to you from both Amazon and for TikTok. So you're going to have people coming to you and you're going to have to weed through what you want and what you don't want to share. And my final tips for the month, I'm going to try to put one of one of these videos out every month, is to really only share products that you love. If you're using it and you love it, you're enjoying using the product, share it. Just share it and tell people why you like it. That's it. That's what is going to make people buy what you like, I guess. Not because they want to be like you, but because they're realizing that it brought some sort of simplicity or joy to your life. And then only posting content that you love. I'm working on this, but you don't need to post 35 times a day. You need to post once a day with something that is just quality content that's good stuff that people want to go back and watch. I hope that this was helpful to you. Please leave any comments or questions below and I will try my best to answer them the best that I can. I am learning and growing right alongside you. So as someone who has had 5,000 followers for a couple weeks and been on TikTok shop for a couple weeks now, I'm not, um, I'm not making thousands of dollars every month. I wish I was, but I'm not. But that's my goal. And so if you have a similar goal and you want to come with me, let's fucking do this thing. We can do it.